Let's take a look at the gate. Every DLive input channel has a gate on it. If you would like to trigger the gate from a source other than itself, you can use the sidechain source and use any other input or any bus on the console to trigger the gate. You have sidechain filtering available. So for example, if you wanted to take the crack of the snare uh, off of the channel to stop it from opening your kick gate, that's a very useful option. One of the favorite things about this console is the histogram you'll see down below. Currently it's gray. That is telling me that the gate is not in circuit, but I can still see the behavior of the gate opening and closing uh, along with the threshold. This allows me to adjust the settings of the gate and get it to behave exactly how I want before I even start affecting the signal. Once I'm happy with how it's reacting, I can simply push the in button and it will start gating the signal.